Hello. I spent another hour or so, and I made it lots better. So first off, I put in a big paint. Big paint mode is simply, it lets you paint with a big brush. And this is ideal if you're trying to make a big room, um, and, and you don't want to spend all your time trying to figure out exactly where all the, the random things are going to be. So there we go, I've just built a big room. It also paints two stories high, but I don't have the stories quite implemented yet. Close, but not quite. So it's only one story at the moment. Normal paint mode is just like it was before, as you can see. However, uh, the biggest difference is that these windows here are a lot more careful. So if I were to do this, you can see that the window is no longer a window, it's now a support pillar. And so it, it consciously replaces windows with support pillars uh, when it thinks that that's what you would prefer, and that gives the rooms a lot more reasonable look rather than having windows just randomly in the room all the time. I also made doors. There are three kinds of doors. The first kind of door is the 60, deg 60 degree door. Here's the 60 degree door. I put it in a beautiful place where you can't friggin see it, but it's just a door that goes through at a 60 degree angle straight across the plane. They're not always double thick, that's just double thick because that's how I built it. But if I were to go in and uh, do this, you can see that it's no longer a double thick door, now it's just a single thickness. So that's a good door if you want to have, uh, you know, a tight door. But there's also a 90 degree door. 90 degree doors are the key to giving your base that uh, rigidity that a fully 60 degree base doesn't seem to have. So here you can see I've just put in a 90 degree door. It's just programmer art, but it is definitely 90 degrees and that means that the base feels like it has some orthogonal rigidity to it even though everything else is 60 degrees and that'll give your base a good punch so you've got to use these 90 degree doors if you want to give your base a, a feeling of, of um, rigidity now that 90 degree door can just be extended and it turns into a big door and big doors are just like that except for they're much larger and they use sli slightly different components now these doors can be extended forever uh, and it'll just desperately try to figure out what sort of configuration you want and uh, and try and, and give you that configuration and so you can get some stuff that's a little bit unusual like for example here I've got some kind of um, uh, what are those little tables that they put on pizzas when they deliver pizzas you know it's one of those things a gazebo and uh, if you go inside the gazebo it's uh, you know it's it's a fully functional part of the building but it's probably not what you had intended to place and I'm not 100% sure whether I should fix those kinds of issues or whether I should leave them because honestly that looks, you know, not doesn't look bad. It looks like something you might want to put into the game. And if you wanted to, you could polish up the appearance by, you know, trimming around it like this. And now you've got a gazebo. Anyway, that's the furthest I've gotten. This game is going to feature a lot of base partitioning and that means that it's going to have a lot of wiring as functionality. Um, now, wiring is going to be something I have to work on in terms of making it uh, easy to do, but these nice thick walls are the secret, because these thick walls here are thick enough to have cables inside of them, uh, and that means that you're probably going to have some wires running along inside of you know the, the surface of the base or along the halls as well, but being able to tuck them inside of a wall gives you another place to put them. I haven't quite figured out the specifics of how the wiring will work yet, but you're going to want to have separate lands and separate environments and all sorts of separated resource flows. So um, that's going to be the trick of this game, if I can figure out how to make the UI for it. Anyway, thanks for your attention, and uh, I hope you've enjoyed where I'm taking it.